What's going on YouTube? Chris Ramsey here from Illusionist.com here to teach you how to fan a deck of cards. Sound effects not included. For this video, we will be using the Madison Rounders Scarlet Edition. These are the red ones. Uh, I don't know if you can actually buy these, but check it out at the store. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Who knows? All right, I'm not only going to show you how to fan a deck of cards, but I'm actually also going to show you how to close up that fan one-handed, making you look like a boss. Looking like a boss. This fan, more commonly known as the thumb fan, usually happens with the thumb. I don't do it that way, because I do it this way in the way that I'm going to show you. So using the index finger, which I think is more natural for me anyways. So basically you're gonna hold it in dealer's grip, which is the normal grip to hold it in. You're gonna reach over with your right hand, your thumb's gonna contact the bottom here, and your three fingers on top here. So I got my index curled in, I got the three fingers, pinky, ring, middle finger, just like that. You're going to lay that deck of cards right into here. And how how, how is that happening? Well, if you look here, the ring finger is sort of leaning on this part of the deck right here, and the thumb joins the ring finger there. The pinky moves out of the way. So again, I'm here, I grab this, boom. See how it's nice in that little cradle, snug in that little pocket right here? It's all snug and tight, toit like a like a toiker. So that's, uh, that's, that's how you hold it. Now, this hand, you're gonna reach over just like, I, just like you had it here, this hand stays here. The index contacts that part of the deck, right here. Right? So you're here, boom, in this position. And then your index is going to guide it around like that to make that fan. Now, a couple little subtleties to go through. Once you're here and you have, you have this grip, I like to use my index to gently spread the cards right before I'm about to fan. Because if I was here and I was just going to fan, that's what it would look like. Not the best fan. Probably what your fan looks like if you haven't practiced. So you don't want to just, eh, you want to here, and then you want to sort of spread them out just a little bit on that finger. See how it's kind of spread? And now, because I spread, now I start to go, watch this, watch the difference. So because you spread at the same time, it gives the cards room to breathe versus, right, which is ugly. You want to spread and you want it, that nice clean fan, those clean edges. Again, boom, bring it into that pocket, pull it out just a little bit. And then once you're here, this index guided with the middle finger, ring finger and thumb at the bottom, you're going to, this is the movement you're going to do. So you're going to use that index just to guide the cards, spread, in that, see how that index, I don't stop there. My index rides up the side of that. It rides up all the way to the top. So gentle pressure, not a big pressure. Big pressure would be like super hard. Just really gentle. See that, how that works? Damn it, again, whoop. Now, sometimes what'll happen is you might have this gap. And that normally just means that your cards are a bit used. So used cards can be good. This is a brand new deck, but sometimes when you get like a lot of grease, let's say I like, like rub this in my hair for a second and I cut that to the middle, we will likely have a separation. I shouldn't shower today. Normally you'll have like a bit of a separation. Don't get discouraged, just mix your cards up. Play with them, shuffle them around a bit. It'll straighten itself out to where you can have that nice fan. So just keep practicing that, it's muscle memory. Come in, boom, separate a bit. Use the index to sort of pull all the way around. Circular motion. There's no other trick. And now if you want to close it up, you can use this finger and just go ahead and close it up again. Um, some people like to use the thumb here. I don't like to use the thumb. I just think the index gives a nice, a nicer look, but that's just me. Now to close it up. This is a tricky part because I have to, okay, here we go. You're here in this position. Your middle finger is going to contact this card, this one here. 
while you're, oh God, let's try that again. Your middle finger is going to contact this card and your index is going to pivot it off your ring finger, just like that, okay? So in fast motion from over top, that's what it looks like. In slow motion from the bottom, just looks like that. And gravity, oh, damn it, gravity. Gravity will take care of closing it up. So again, you're here, middle finger contacts the last card and your ring finger's on the corner of that because it's gonna pivot around that ring finger and close up with gravity. I can't do it from underneath. I can only do it from here. So it's like a quick, oh, here you go, boom, done. I'm a card ninja. And then you can proceed to, to flourish. Guys, that was it. That was the whole fan tutorial. I don't think there's much more to be said about that other than it requires a lot of muscle memory, which means you just gotta keep at it. Keep at it, keep practicing. Open the fan, close it. Damn it, gravity. But you guys get the point. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment below about what you thought about this video, what you think about the series, and smash that like button. We will see you guys soon. From everybody here at Illusionists, take care, peace. Yo, again guys, if you wanna see more of these videos, more tutorials, check out the links below. Also, hit the like button and leave a comment if you wanna see more of these because they'll pop up in your feed that much more. Makes sense? Also, hit the bell button on your way out so you get notified every time we upload a video. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you, bye.